So, in this video I will explain the main loads for ideal gases, through examples. Starting with combined gas low, which is this one here, and ideal gas low, which is this one here. From the combined gas low, we can derivate Boyle's law, which said that we operate in constant temperature and number of moles, which means that we can simplify the temperature from the combined gas low and giving the relation P1 V1 equal to P2 V2. Keep in mind that P is the pressure, V is the volume, and T is the temperature. We can derivate also Charles' law, which is which operate at constant pressure. We can simplify the pressure from the combined gas law, and we have V1 over T1 equal to V2 over T2. Uh, Avogadro's law, which is another law that we can express it like V1 over N1 equal to V2 over N2. And we have also Gay-Lussac law, another law for ideal gases is Dalton law for partial pressures. Dalton law says that the total pressure in a system that contains a mixture of gases is equal to the sum of the partial pressure of each of the constituent gases in constant volume and temperature. So the pressure in total is equal to the pressure of each individual gases if we do not have chemical interaction between gases, so they should be inert to each other. We have also the mole fraction, which is the number of moles of, of an individual gas to the total number of moles of gases present, which can be expressed also in pressures, pressure of an individual gas divided by the pressure of the total gases. We can write also on this way mathematically. We can find also the density of gas and molar mass. This one we are going to leave through an example to explain how we can displace density here at this equation. We have also gas stoichiometry. We have to keep in mind here that if you operate in standard temperature and pressure, it means that at 0 grad Celsius or 273 Kelvin or 1 atmosphere or 760 millimeter of mercury or 760 Tor. One mole of gases in standard temperature and pressure is equal to 22.4 liter. Let's move now to the first example that deals with ideal gas law. Calculate the volume occupied by one mole of nitrogen gas at a pressure of 740 millimeter mercury and temperature 25 degrees Celsius. Immediately you should remember the ideal gas law, which is EV equal to nRT. From here you have pressure, you have number of moles, you have R, that is the constant for gases, and you have also the temperature. The problem here is that you have to convert the pressure in atmosphere, so 740 millimeter of mercury Volume should be in liter, uh, number of moles is the same, R is a constant, and temperature should be in Kelvin. Now we are ready for the, our calculation after we, make the, after we made the right conversions in order to use the ideal gas law. So volume is equal to nRT divided by the pressure Let's run the calculations. So the volume occupied by one mole of nitrogen is 25.23 liter. Let's move now to a more complex example with gases that deals with Dalton law for partial pressure, mole fraction. We have these two containers that are connected with a tube and here is a valve. If we let this open and leave the gases to mix, what are the final pressure for oxygen, nitrogen, molar fraction for oxygen, nitrogen? This system operates in constant temperature. So in order to find which law needs to be used here, we have to write the combined gas law. 
It operates in constant temperature, which means that we can simplify the temperature and we can go to a relation like this V1 V1 equal to P2 V2. This reminds us boils law, which said that this relation is valid in constant temperature and number of moles. So we are going to use the boil flow to find the individual pressures after the two cases mixed together. So here you have to keep in mind that in order to find the pressure in the state 2 for the oxygen, you have to consider that the volume increase because we have 5 liter container here, 3 liter here and the sum if the valve is open is going to be 8 liter. The same remains also for the nitrogen, it's, the volume is going to increase to 8 liter, the total volume of the system. According to Dalton's law for pressure pressure, we can say that the total pressure of the system is equal to the pressure of the oxygen after the mixing plus pressure of the nitrogen after mixing. So we have the total pressure of the system is going to be 23.75 atmosphere. If we want to find the mole fraction, we have pressure of the oxygen divided by the total pressure in the system that we already found. So we have pressure of oxygen So the mole fraction for the oxygen is 0.526. In order to find the mole fraction for nitrogen, we have two options. We can calculate it like we did with the oxygen, or you have to know that the maximum value for mole fraction is equal to 1, which means that the mole fraction for the nitrogen is equal to 1 minus mole fraction for the oxygen. It does not have a unit, it's just a value that the maximum can be 1. Let's move now to an example that deals with the density of a gas. So calculate the density of nitrogen gas in gram per liter at 100 degrees Celsius and a pressure 1 atmosphere. We are going to use the ideal gas law, PV equal to nRT. But you have to keep in mind that density is equal to mass per volume, gram per liter. So here we are going to have PV equal to number of moles itself is mass per molar mass of a compound, in this case nitrogen. So we are going to have mass divided by molar mass multiplied by RT. By knowing that the density is mass per volume, we can play here mathematically. So, this here is density, so it's going to be P multiplied by molar mass equal to density multiplied by RT. So, the density itself is equal. So, in our case, we are going to have one atmosphere the pressure. Make sure to convert the 100 degrees Celsius in Kelvin, 373 Kelvin. So this is equal to 0 0.91 li gram per liter. So atmosphere with atmosphere simplifies, mole per mole, Kelvin per Kelvin, it remains only gram per liter. This is the density of nitrogen gas in these conditions. Let's move now to another example by using ideal gas law to find the molar mass of a gas. A sample of gas has a mass of 0.4 gram. Its volume is 0.5 liter at a temperature of 60 degrees Celsius under pressure 1 atmosphere. Find the molar mass of this gas. So 
So in order to do this, we have to write the ideal gas law, PV and RT. So PV equal to mass over molar mass, because number of moles is equal to mass over molar mass of a specific compound, multiplied by RT. So from here, we can separate the molar mass. Molar mass is equal. So let's place the values. Of course, you have to convert the temperature to Kelvin. So it's 21.88. Let's move now to the final example that deals with the stoichiometry of gases. So we are going to start with what we have. We have the mass of methanol. From mass of methanol, we can go by using its molar mass, finding in the periodic table for carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, we can go to the number of moles of methanol. From number of moles of methanol, by using the stoichiometry of the equation, we can go to number of moles of hydrogen. And from number of moles of hydrogen, we can go to the volume of the hydrogen. This step here has two options. If you are in standard temperature and pressure, it means that 0 degrees Celsius or 273 Kelvin, and one atmosphere pressure or 70, 760 millimeter of mercury, you can use this relation, one mole divided by 22.4 liter, or 22.4 liter divided by one mole. I mean, depends on the situation, is the same. In this case, we are going to use this one. 22.4 liter divided by one mole. You can use this if you are in standard temperature and pressure. In our case, specific case, do, we are not in the standard temperature and pressure. So in this step, we are going to use the ideal gas law to find the volume of the hydrogen needed. So let's run the calculation and find firstly the number of moles of hydrogen and after that we can use the ideal gas law to find the volume of the hydrogen needed. This here is the molar mass of methanol, if in case you are wondering where I found this value, from the periodic table. So according to the stoichiometry of the reaction, of a balance of the reaction, we can say that 2 moles of hydrogen divided by 1 mole of methanol. Here, I mean. This is equal 2.5 mole of hydrogen. We are going to use this number of moles and convert it to its volume, to its corresponding volume by using the ideal gas law. So the volume of hydrogen needed is 70.32 liter. Let's consider now the case that you are in standard temperature and pressure. On that case, you have number of moles of hydrogen, for example, 2.5 mole. In order to convert it to its volume, multiplied by 22.4 liter divided by 1 mole. Oh my god, 56 liter. If you are in standard temperature and pressure, I mean 0 degrees Celsius or 273 Kelvin and 1 atmosphere. If you are in this condition, you are going to produce 56 liter. If you are in the condition of the exercise above, you are going to produce 70.37 liter. Be careful. If you are in standard temperature and pressure, use this relation 22.4 liter divided by 1 mole. If you are in whatever condition, you have to use the ideal gas law, PV and RT, and run the calculations. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you in the next video. Peace.